If you want to see how to get nice crispy lines like this with stain, yes stain, then stick around. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you probably already know that trees are like a big bundle of straws and the, their job is to carry the water from the ground all the way up to the branches and the leaves. So even when you put down masking tape, that stain, which is a liquid, has a tendency to want to draw up into that open grain and blur your lines. So in this video, I'm going to show you a technique that'll counteract that and you'll get nice crispy lines with your stain. Welcome back to the wood shop. If you're new here, my name's Brett. Even if you're not new here, my name's still Brett. I decided not to film the steps that got us up to this point because this is a customer build and I'm trying to get it out of the shop in a timely fashion and filming just makes everything take a lot longer. So what I did off camera was I sanded everything smooth, put down my masking and then put on a couple coats of shellac to seal in these areas. This is just going to be natural wood and then everything that I haven't treated so far is going to be a dark walnut stain. So while the masking tape is still in place, I'm just going to do a very light sanding with a 400 grit sandpaper to knock down any of the little dust nibs or raised grain from the application of the shellac. I should probably mask up to do that. Stand by me. It's a really light touch, just the weight of the sander. Ooh, and now they're buttery smooth. Smooth as a baby's tuchus. They're like butter. Nice. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove the masking tape and reveal the areas where we're gonna add the dark stain. And here's a tip for removing masking tape, whether you're painting a wall or doing something like this. Don't just pull it straight back but pull it at a 45 degree angle away from your line and that way you won't pull up any of the paint or finish that you put down. And now I'm just going to mask off the clear areas where the shellac is. Okay, now I've got everything masked off and I'm going to go ahead and put a dark walnut stain on everything else on the top and the frame. This is an oil based stain and so I'm going to go ahead and use my respirator. Last time I didn't and I regretted it so I learned my lesson. So protect your lungs, protect your skin, uh, you don't know what's in this stuff. It's toxic, I know that. I don't know if you can hear me very well, but uh, just like anything else, you put on uh, a liberal amount of stain, give it a few minutes to soak in, and then wipe off the excess. Pretty basic. So 
So now it's the next day and the stain is dried and yes, I'm wearing the same shirt for continuity. I can't wait to see what this looks like. To tell you the truth, I've never actually done this technique before, so you and I are going to discover together with whether it really works. So come a little closer. Okay, you ready for this? Drum roll please. There's a little bit of bleed through right there and some on the end here, but the rest of this is looking really good. Let's keep going. Not too shabby. There's just tiny little bits of bleed through here and there. Um, but I think I'll be able to scrape those away and make nice sharp lines. Most of it looks really, really good. I'm psyched. I'm so excited! Well, I'm stoked with how these turned out. This is exactly how I had pictured it. Nice, sharp, clean lines and a stark contrast between the light and the dark. And any of those little bleed through areas, and there weren't many and they were tiny, was just where the stain had seeped under the tape a little bit, but it stayed on top of the shellac. So it was easy to scrape away. So my next step is to coat these with polycrylic. I've got some work yet to do on the legs, but that's a subject for another video. Right over here, I have a video queued up that you might want to watch next. Until next time, my friend, be safe and love each other.